Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. In this procedure, I will be demonstrating how to boil out a complete denture pri prior to processing. In our last exercise, we completed the flasking of the maxillary and mandibular denture following the wax-up procedure. Before we get started, I would like to show you the apparatus that's used to boil out the denture. Okay, the boil-out apparatus consists of two sections. The first half is a simple tank of boiling water with a table that can be placed up and down. The flask is placed in here and allowed to heat for seven minutes, after which time we can separate it, which we'll show you in just a short time. The second half of the apparatus consists of another tank of boiling water, and here the water is recirculated through these nozzles. The water is taken up from the bottom so that there's no wax in the water, and I'll flip this on and show you how the water is recirculated. This area is used to flush out the two halves of the mold after we have taken them from the other tank. Now I'd like to show you at this time exactly how we go through this procedure of boiling out the denture. Again, we're going to be using the maxillary denture in the flask, and I'm now going to place it in the first tank of water. And we'll leave it in this tank for seven minutes. And for convenience, you can use a timer. And after seven minutes, we'll remove it from this water bath. Okay, after seven minutes in the boil out tank, remove the flask. At this point, we can open the flask and let the wax and the base plate run out. As you can see, the base plate is removed very easily and discarded. And most of the wax will run out of the mold once it's removed from the boiling water. At this point, we still have to flush the residual wax from the mold and we'll be placing it in a uh, stream of running water. This running water removes all traces of the uh, wax that's left in the mold and in a short time we're going to use uh, a little detergent to ensure that all residual traces are gone. For this you can use uh, detergent such as Tide and scrub the inside of the mold. If you don't do this, it's very difficult to get the separator to adhere to the mold uh, in the next procedure. After you've thoroughly scrubbed the two halves of your mold, they're again placed under the hot running water for a few moments. At this point, we can shut off the running water, remove the uh, two halves of our mold, and allow them to bench cure or to get 
to room temperature on the bench top. I'll be back in just a moment and we'll show you what these molds look like after they're cool. You now see the top and bottom of the flask with all of the wax and base plate removed. And if we can come in close, I think you'll even see that the contours that you were so careful to carve in your wax are now reproduced in the Yellowstone and model plaster mixture, which is the second pour that you made in plastering the denture. And you see there are no traces of wax. The porcelain teeth have spaces built into them as retentive areas in the teeth or diatoric spaces. When we use acrylic teeth, we quite frequently will drill a small hole on the underside of the tooth as a retentive space. Now you may see the mandibular flask, and I think you can get a close-up. The uh, master cast does not look any different than it did when you uh, originally poured it. it. It has all the exact contours that you were so careful to preserve, and the top of the flask now contains the teeth, and again, you can see the gingival contours. At this point, we are done with the boil out, and we are ready to proceed with packing the denture. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu license.